car that ended up at CMU. Forbes Avenue between Craig and Moorwood was shut off to traffic. Robots were used to check out what was found in this white car, followed by police beginning at Center and Moorwood, which ended up behind Smith Hall. And this is what ended up to be inside the car, a metal cylinder that looked like a bomb, but was not. The cylinder was in the back seat, uh, lodged between uh, the back seat and the front seat in, um, in the back. So the robots had um, a little time, tough time getting, getting it out. Police questioned the driver, a white male in his 20s. Meanwhile, a scene like this during a week like this is unsettling. It's definitely scary uh, given what happened in Virginia Tech and all the copycat uh, situations that have been occurring. And uh, yeah, your first thought is that um, it's just, uh, it's scary. You don't know what's, what's about to happen or so. But uh, I feel as though the, the police here knew what was going on. I, I felt safe. Police also had a report of a suspicious substance separate from the cylinder, but they have deemed everything to be safe. CMU never evacuated buildings or locked down the campus. But if you were in that area between Smith Hall and the Collaborative Innovation Center, movement was limited then. The biggest inconvenience to everyone was the closure of Forbes Avenue, which is now open. From Carnegie Mellon University, Harold Hayes, KDKA-TV News. It's been nearly 24 hours since the video.